Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'll be doing a review on this Black & Decker 4 Slice Toaster, model number TR1478BD. I just picked this up at Walmart for $24. So it looks very nice, very basic, but kind of nice. It's got a dial here for, and it's got easy to read numbers so you can repeat what, um, how dark you want your toast. It's got a frozen button and a bagel button. And then here's the cancel button. Right in the middle is the cancel and that'll cause it to pop up. So underneath, it does have a two prong cord. There is a little bit of cord storage. So it says it's 120 volts AC, 60 Hertz, 104, 1,400 Watts. Now it does have a piece of tape here. This is for the, we want to take this tape off before we use it. This is for the crumb drawer. We want to, it's got an arrow to show you which way to, it's got these little finger slots and then the crumb drawer comes out. Then we can empty the crumbs. So it's not like a tray that slides out. Okay, so it measures about almost 11 inches and it's about seven and a quarter inches high and front to back, it's about another 10, so like a 10 inch square. Okay, so I've got it plugged in. There are no lights on it, but if you want to cancel it, you just hit this button right in the middle and that cancels it. Okay, so there are no lights to tell you if you've selected the, so you just got to press the frozen button and assume that it's got in frozen and same with the bagel button. Let's push these down again. I did find, so it is kind of lightweight. And when I go to press the cancel button, um, you do have to kind of hold it a little bit. So see, I'm trying to press it and it's moving. That cancel button is kind of hard to press. Again, I wish there was some lights on there to let you know you've selected the bagel. But typically you've got to put it in and then select it. You don't select it before you put it down. And then you can always lift the toast up. You can lift these handles up. Looks like a pretty standard toaster on the inside. Okay, so I've been, this was earlier toast I did. It was pretty dark. It was around the four mark. So there's like a little detent here. That's where you're gonna set the detent for the toast. Let's go three. And then over here, let's put a bagel in. Let's go, let's go three and a half on the bagel. Put it down, then hit the bagel button. So the sides stay rail relatively cool, but up here it gets kind of hot and then that metal around the top gets really hot, so be careful. So looking at this earlier toast, I did think it was pretty even. Okay, so don't forget, it just popped up. You can lift this handle up to get you more access to the toast. Yeah, I think that did a relatively good job. One side is a little darker than the other. Well, not on this one, but on this one there is. Now, I do think these dials, they turn real easy, so they, you could accidentally mess your setting up. So you can see this was a three. This was set on the three. And this was set on the four earlier. And we're still doing a bagel. I'm doing a bagel on three and a half. So sometimes a new toaster, it just takes some getting used to to figure out what settings you're gonna need. I can tell already that bagel's probably a little overdone. Okay. So the bagel popped up. Again, don't forget you can lift this up. Those are really hot. So here we have the bagel, not quite as even. Look like down at the bottom is where it was a little light and up at the top it's really dark. Back, same with the back side. So Walmart had other toasters there. I might try them out. They had a Farberware that was a touch screen. I'm like, I don't know if I need a touch screen for a, for a toaster, but I might try that out. And Cuisinart sells a really good one on Amazon, but it's quite a bit more expensive. So for $24, this one seems like a pretty good price point for this. I mean, it's not a lot of extra and it does seem a little cheaply made, but as long as it lasts, I think it'll be a good toaster. Thanks everybody for watching.